Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can display an XML data in the JavaFX table view. Just exactly like the way you're looking at on my screen. Let's walk you through the process. So let's get started. First of all, you need an XML document exactly like the way I'm showing you here. In my XML document, I have a class as my root element with three student children. Each student has an ID number, a first name, last name, and a score. Then I created a Java application to map with my XML document. My Java application has three properties, ID, first name, and last name. I'm not reading score, only ID, first name, and last name. So I have a constructor and I have a default constructor. Again, I've explained you all of this code in the previous tutorials, that's why I'm not going over this again. Then I have getters and setters for each one of my properties. Now moving on to the actual JavaFX code, which I'll be explaining to you. So first of all, I created a table view object, which will let me create this look and feel as you can see in my output. And this look and feel, as you can see in my output, is a result of the table view object, which I am uh, using the Java generic type student to map to it. Then I'm creating a student array called studs, which is currently a bunch of null pointers. That's why in the method XML data, which will be the method that I'll use to populate this array with the values coming from the XML document. The first thing I'm doing is I'm populating all the objects, uh, studs, all the studs array elements by calling the constructor. Then I'm opening my JavaFX application, I'm opening my XML document in a file object called input file. I'm taking the DOM approach. That's why I'm creating document builder factory object. And then I'm creating document builder object based on the document builder factory object. And then I'm using the document builder object to parse my XML document held inside input file and storing that into the document object doc. Then I'm normalizing it for the Java to read it. My journey starts by simply reading all the student elements in the XML document. So that's why I'm saying I need to create a node list with all the student elements. All the student elements will be sitting there inside that repository from where I will be reading one structure at a time. And that's the whole purpose of the loop that starts from line number 43 and goes all the way down to line number 51. So as I am reading the node list, so I'm going, I'm traversing through it from the zeroth element to the length of the node list. So I grab one item at a time from the node list and put it into a node object n. If the node, if the n is of the node type element node, then I convert it into an element and then I start reading using this element e the value of the first name, the value of the last name, the value of the attribute ID. Now you may be wondering why am I using item zeros with first name and last name? Because in XML it is possible for somebody to have multiple occurrences of the first name. So to avoid that, I am only reading the first occurrence of the first name, the first occurrence of the last name. And since there is only one attribute ID with each one of the student uh, tags, so I'm reading that here in this variable. So the whole uh, point of XML data is to populate the array with the values. Now moving down to the start method. In the start method, I'm creating a scene. In the scene, I'm setting up the title, which is XML data app, and then I'm setting the width and the height of the scene, and then I'm creating a label called class data. I'm setting the font to Arial 20, and that's what you can see over here, class data. I'm making my table set editable to false, so it's non-editable. And now I'm starting to build my column headings. So I have a table column class object first name column, I'm using it to create a column heading called first name, uh, setting as minimum width to 150, and tying it to the Java student class property F name. And then I'm doing the same with the last name, and I'm doing exactly the same thing with the ID. Then I'm calling XML data, which is a method that I declared up there, which I just talked to you about, where, where I am populating the entire array studs. And once that is done, I need to now transfer all the data from the array into an observable list object 
called data. So I'm declaring an observable list object on line number 82 uh, using type generic student for that. And then because I will be transferring a student object into data, that's why I'm using type generic student for that. So I'll be creating this object on line 82. And lines 83 through 84, I'm running through my entire array list, uh, which is studs and I'm adding one object at a time into data. So I'm transferring an object with all the properties from the studs into data. Then I'm using this data object on line number 86 and assigning it to my table view. And that is the result of what you see right here in the ID, first name, and the last name. And then after that, I'm setting my column headings. I could just write lines 86 and 87 in any order. doesn't really matter. Line 87 will always add the columns and line 86 will always populate it with the data. Then I'm setting in my, my V box. I'm adding my label and my table to my V box and then adding the V box to the scene and adding the scene to the stage and launching my application inside the main, which is basically the standard process of running your JavaFX application. So uh, again, you know, I'm using an XML document. You could probably use a regular text file or, or comma delimited file or even a database query. All you need to do is, as the data comes in, store it in an object which is mapped through some kind of a Java class, which is a mapping class between your data set and Java. And then after you create your, your object class, you populate it with the data, and then you put that data right inside your table view. Um, let me know in the comment section below how you like this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.